Creating multiple characters in BuildBox is easy, but first, you'll need to make sure you set up your characters correctly. To edit your characters, open up any world available in the menu editor, and then choose a character from the asset bar on the left-hand side. The first thing to do is name your character something easily discernible. Then, check to make sure that you've included any animations, sounds, or physics settings that are needed. Scrolling down, under the monetization section, you can decide if your character is free or available to unlock with real money, in-game currency, or through reaching a new section in your game. Finally, you'll need to add a character icon component. Do this by clicking the Add Component button at the bottom on the right-hand side, and choose Character Icon. Here, you can add two icons for your characters. The first one shows a character that the user is allowed to choose, and the second shows a character that is locked, so pick two different images to show here, depending on the applicable scenario. So I'm going to add the regular icon images for both of my characters because I want them both to be available for choosing. So I'll select my other character and do the same thing. I'll add the component, choose a character icon, and drop in my second character's icon image. Now exit the scene editor and move to the menu editor. Decide what screen you want to place the character selector on. Many times this is done on the Game Over screen, and that's what I'll choose in this case. Double-click the Game Over screen, and here we can edit the contents. Now let's drag the Character Selector over from the Control section and drop it into our menu. Let's scale this up and move it into position, and let's change the spread down here. We'll scale this again, and move it over, and you can see the icons of the characters here in the editor. Now obviously I'd probably want to scale these icons down a little bit so they're more similar in size, like the way they would appear in the actual game, but you get the picture. And of course to see the menu in action, you can always preview it in your game. Thanks for watching!